Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing an unboxing and review of the Runcam Thumb Pro. This is the Thumb Pro, not the Thumb Pro 4K. Even though I was looking at the Thumb Pro 4K and I swore I bought the Thumb Pro 4K, but this is the 1080p version. Imagine my disappointment when I saw this 1080p HD. I'm like, what? All right. This is the bundle with the camera and the ND filters. So let's check out the camera first. Right, and this is this is it. So does it come with anything else? Yeah, instructions. Come to the manual. Comes with a USB B cable. Mm, 3D printed, 3D printed holder and brackets. Let me see something. Something tells me that. I can't use this bracket on my... Yeah, I have to replace... I have to replace this bracket here on my Cinelog 2.5 with this. Oh, and it comes with screws for that. Lovely. Also included is this wire, which I'm guessing it's to help you control the camera as in turn it, start recording and stop recording and I may need to solder this I don't want to these connections these connectors are different the connector on the drone and this connector are different so Yes, this is not going to be as seamless as a process as I expected it to be. This is the camera itself. Run cam them. It has 4K on it. I am confused. I'm very confused. I guess we'll see in the files whether or not this is the 4K or not. Right, so if I could find my SD card holder, I just did. Let's install an SD card really quickly. All right, here is my SD card, the SanDisk Extreme 128 gig card. This is the largest capacity that this uh, camera can support. And I got it because it's the largest capacity. I got the, I got the largest capacity because it's cheap so I doubt your video files will be big well this is supposed to be a 4k camera it says 4k so it might be 4k who knows but I don't expect any individual video recording to be longer than five minutes I have read that these cameras have issues for running when running too long when uh, recording long video files but your drone should not be flying that long anyway we'll see what I'll do to connect it to the drone but let's unbox the lenses sorry let, let's unbox the ND filters All right these are the filters they come in little baggies are they labeled yep and the 32 and the 8 and the 16 three filters All right, let's close close it up put this aside all right three times a charm third time doing 
the filming portion of the review the run cam thumb pro as you can see i added this uh, 5 volt connector thing this connector is going to connect to my lipo and the other end which originally terminated into a type c connection for a naked gopro or well a regular gopro i soldered I soldered it to the wire that came with the uh, th run cam thumb pro so I'm getting power from my 5 volt battery instead of wiring it directly to my flight controller okay let's open up the app run cam ah yes when I initially downloaded the app it automatically selected the run cam thumb pro if it didn't well I just have to click here and do whatever but it auto selected to this so I guess they knew hey we are releasing a new product people are most likely going to download the app for this so to configure your camera go to QR code configuration and you have these settings here video quality we keep that at high loop recording off auto record my best guess is that auto record as soon as you give the camera power starts recording I don't want that volume normal and FPV normal is normal fpv the audio is just lower i'm going to keep the uh, i'm going to keep the audio at normal so that i can synchronize well the camera and the the thing here i'm not sure if this flight controller has a microphone but just in case i'll use that to synchronize all everything resolution so i wasn't sure if this was a run cam thumb pro 4k because the product page says run run cam thumb pro the box said run cam thumb pro 1080p but i have the option for 4k and well the computer verified that it's 4k camera is shooting in 30 dvr goggles shooting in 30 the only option i have for 30 is the 4k option so that's what i'm going to do shutter auto ISO sensitivity keep that as auto color style flat color c-o-l-o-u-r the way it's supposed to be spelt I love that date stamp off on image rotation you have your different aspects for image rotation but run cam does not provide mounts for vertical or whatever so just leave that as it is saturation medium let's see Exposure compensation, keep everything medium, medium, white balance, auto. Definitely keep white balance auto because I thought the first time I did it, I did the test, I thought it was cloudy. So I put it at cloudy and well, it's kind of crap. Also, the first time I shot it, I had the camera angle tilted way back, tilted as far back as the FPV camera. You see the angle on the FPV camera? I had it tilted all the way back like that and well I just saw sky. It was horrible. <laughs> Never again. Low light image enhancement. Well I'll be flying against the brush, these trees here and the trees, the green in the tree just absorbs the light so it gets really dark when you get close. So I'll keep that on, auto shut down, keep that whatever and you hit apply. Now these guidelines come up, you can click don't remind me again, but I like to keep them on because I very I forget. Short press power button, okay. I need to give the camera power first, so let me attach my flight battery and then give the camera power. Alright, we have power. This is the connector here and as you can see, we have a red light. So short, press the power button to turn on the camera, make sure the SD card is inserted, blah blah blah. Okay, double click the power button to switch to the QR code. So double click. Double click really quickly, okay there we go. It's green. Now I'm just going to hold up the camera to the QR code. Okay, and it, the settings have been saved, so it is now red. If you have your settings here and you change, you go, you jump between settings very often, what you can do, you can screenshot these Q 
the QR codes and keep them as presets. Though I'm not sure you could probably write on the write on the thing right here what preset it is because you can't scroll with a screenshot. But write on the preset, you know what it is. All right, so let's fly. I almost made the same mistake I did yesterday, as in not hitting the record button. Excuse the bad flying. Whoa, trees, suddenly. This will be a good test of the dynamic range because I am seeing in my goggles, well, you will see too, flying into the dark areas. My FPV camera auto adjusts. And the Run Campton Pro is also in auto mode, so you'll see how that adjusts. I must say, my thumb, my lipstick management, whoa, I was just about to say, my throttle management was really good until I almost ate it. Let's do some orbits. Yep. Yep. Sloppy. A bit sloppy. Whoa. See, oh, I'm in angle mode. Whoa, hey, behave, please. The bugs are tearing me up. So weird seeing yourself flying. Such an out of body experience. Alright, I'm flying into the sun. My FPV camera is blown out. I could not see those branches hanging in front of my face just now. We'll see how the Thumb Pro handles that. Ah, these mosquitoes! Mosquitoes and a fly. I hear a fly buzzing around me. I know I don't stink, so what's the deal with that? Alright, three minutes. I'm gonna start looking to come down at about four minutes. I should probably move that timer a bit over to the left because I can't see the last digit. Alright, four minutes. Four minutes ten. Let me start heading back now. <sighs> 
Alright, that was the flight of the with the Runcam Thumb Pro.